What? Oh, it's time to make a video? Oh, Christ. All right. Let me get my clothes on here. What, the internet's watch? Oh, hey. <clears throat> hey, guys, name's Sven. Playing Pirates Ahoy. How y'all doing? Awake and aware is good, friend. It's time to babble senselessly and play something for absolutely no ulterior purpose whatsoever. The story? There is no story. Or there is one, but you know, it's just, I'm not going to tell it to you yet, because it might be in readables. I, I don't really remember. Well, it looks like escaping from the city guard for some reason. I don't know what that could be. Couldn't be stealing or anything. Forced me to leave my equipment, so I guess I gotta get it again, and then my blackjack too, and then lockpicks, and then I'm broke, so I need some money, and then I gotta equip myself with other weapons, and then, you know, uh, find a treasure map. And then, you know, referencing a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't been spoken yet. And the paint drips off the paintbrush, which is a very interesting loading screen. I guess. Ah. Well. Yes. Video is extremely late today. I guess it just sort of is. I, I do apologize. Uh, is there something up there? Well, I don't have a rope, so there probably isn't. Uh, apparently I'm supposed to have- oh, Garrett's note. Well, my notes are soggy now, so I'll never be able to read them. <sighs> Just an incredible shame. Never, ever going to be able to read them. I- I- I'm really crying about it. It's- it's something that really deeply upsets me. And I have to read this poster about, you know, <laughs> getting a box seat in an execution of Thief 3 style Garrett. And I have to read that just to calm my nerves and soothe my poor frazzled worries. Hey there, fishy. You are fairly okay animated for the engine. You don't often see fish in water. Fish are usually out of water, hence the expression, fish out of water. <laughs> this was really not a good day for me. A lucrative burglary at Lord Carlson's proved to be a total flop. I was still broke afterwards and dog-tired to boot. Arriving at my hideout, I just wanted to sleep, but the quiet didn't last long. I was abruptly ripped from sleep when a good dozen troopers from the city guard stormed into my home. I barely had time to escape through the window, only to find more guards awaiting me on the street below. I still managed to avoid capture by jumping into the river, but then I had to hide in the sewer all day long. Now night has fallen, and it's time for me to be on my way. I should leave the city as wanted posters for me are probably all over the place by now. Maybe I can sneak onto a boat. At Lord Carlson's, I found notes on an old treasure map, which is in the possession of Mr. Turner, the bookseller. For him, it is only an old heirloom, but Lord Carlson is convinced that the treasure really exists. Who knows, maybe there's a bit of truth in it. I should obtain this map. However, there is still another problem. During my undignified escape, I had to leave behind all of my equipment. I need replacements urgently. I must find a way to visit the armorer on my way to the harbor. Moreover, I should do something about my distressing lack of funds. My stomach is growling, so hopefully I'll be able to find some food on the way. Well, 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 looks like we're in for a bad spell of it. Well, you didn't see anything. That's just my stock line that I say. You know what? I've clearly got nothing to say in these LPs anymore. I'm just like, hey, y'all, I'm playing... Oh, wait a minute. I can't climb up ever! I am ruined. Perhaps I should try this other path because my memory's a little bit hazy on this mission. And by hazy, I mean it's not there. Well, it is. So by that, I mean I'm just keep saying not quite true things over and over until I stumble into something that is... More or less correct. That's how you think and speak, right? Well, it should be. Because you can pick that mushroom growing in the ground. 
because you know it's it's it looks like it's growing but in fact it was strategically planted and by planted I don't mean planted I mean planted cue the snapping music for Tipson and Tomer well this is not the way I normally go first but uh, I guess I can deal with going this way first you know I've got no equipment at all and my health bar is a sailboat so it's you know it's whatever now the interesting thing about this mission is that your blackjack can be found in three different locations depending on the skill and not only is it merely found in different locations but it is in fact a different well I suppose I'll leave that to when I find it oh wow this lean seems very odd being used to the dark mod which just tilts a lot it's like the strafe lean it's like those cartoon characters that come off from the corner of the screen hey my mother! that was an annoying thing to say <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. That's what they say, right? Hey, everybody, in a really high-pitched voice that doesn't suit them at all. Right? <laughs> I mean, come on now. Oh. Uh-oh. Fortunately, these guys are more or less incredible-blind compared to the Dark Mod, so I can more or less just cheat my way through absolutely everywhere in the entire mission. I just want to read the sign. Is that such a crime? W. Turner, Books and Maps. Yeah, well... I am looking for a book or a map, but more of a map than a book. However, that's going to be later because I can't remember where to find my blackjack here, and it's normally the first thing I like to get, so I can just go and kabong everybody on the head in a frenzy. Because that's just the kind of player I am, and apparently people like that yeah, play style, which is not so much a style as just, like, a lack of skill on my part, but oh. no, that's not true. It's just, for some reason, I seem to be having a teenage insecurity day where I act like I'm a teenager with no security, and you know, because, oh, I think I'm totally on the wrong side of this house. See, I thought that there would be a welcome mat, which I could use to, I guess, wear and cover my scraggly robes with something a bit more weird. You know, whatever. But, now, instead, I'm forced to follow a leader along his patrol route. Hmm. Can you believe it? I spent that long without saying anything. Must be a freaking record for me. Jeez, where am I even going here? I got a map, don't I? Well... Oh, that's a... completely forgot about this. It's like all 3D and rendered and rendered into a sort of shiny 3D thing. Whatever. Well, you seem to have not seen anything there and are thus carrying on your way, thus allowing me to laugh in the face of my face. Ha! Ha! Ah! Welcome the hyenas. Well, I think I'm going in the correct direction here, or correction, or correct direction, although that actually sounds like Sex Ed 101, so I think I should just stop it there. <laughs> oh, yes, well, pears could be loot if they're covered in gold and, or, or covered in clay and made of gold, you know, being moved across the country by truck, because that's a nice truck. I cannot believe I cannot find any info on that. That shit should have become an internet meme, but I guess that was before internet memes were popular, so I guess I can forgive that sort of nonsense. Not like what I'm yeah. saying isn't complete nonsense, but sometimes I go a little overboard, even for me. Sometimes I just start talking really loudly and, you know, freaking, uh, freaking babbling, which is one of my special talents, babbling. Uh, although I haven't quite figured out where is a really good area that I can somehow effectively use it yet. I remember having a hell of a hard time with this area, and I have no freaking idea why... Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. For a minute I thought I wouldn't be able to get in here, but what I thought was a complete lie. Much like pie, muffins, bagels, Every bit of pastry except for that one that starts with a C and ends with E and has four letters in it. Because, obviously, I'm never ever going to reference a meme, ever. So, deal with it. Oops. Well, anyways, 
I do enjoy the fact that in Christine's mission, she often puts many, many pickable food items, both culinary and cultured, or whatever, both planty and cakey. Oh, I said the word cake. Since that's part of a meme, I guess I'm going to be killed now. Well, here, how do I get into this house? Well, it's the old welcome mat trick, and I slide in a weird way. It's the green grocer's house, because grocer... It's not very, you know... A green grocer is not really grosser than many things, because unless the food is rotten, but hey. I think this is actual text here that you can read. Oh, my... Why do we always have bad luck? First my husband left on a ship to go search the South Sea Islands for unknown plants, and now the shop is going downhill. He used up all of our savings to pay for passage on the ship. He's been gone for over six months now on a quest for bananas, or whatever he calls them. The people here are exploiting this situation shamelessly. They're still buying vegetables and fruit, and want to pay later as usual. And when my husband was still here, then yes, they paid their bills, but now... I tried again today to collect money that I desperately need, but without success. Even the sheriff just said, I'll pay up when your husband comes back again because he's the shopkeeper. Jeez. Crooked cops. And my daughter Elizabeth and I, we don't have any money left. Nothing. I can't even buy bread. At least we don't have to totally starve since we do have vegetables and fruit. But I'd like to buy a real toy for Elizabeth so that she does not always have to juggle tomatoes or pile up apples. She wants one of those dolls from the toy shop so badly, and tomorrow is her sixth birthday. What a sad day that will be. I couldn't get enough money to buy her even a chocolate cake, let alone a present. I'm so sorry for her. And her father? I have a very bad feeling. He should have been back here long ago. Maybe something happened to him. If only he would come back, then everything would be all right. Uh. Girlfriend, you need to learn how to stand up for yourself. Woo dog. <laughs> Not offensive. Uh, yes, and here is another Lady Rowena-ish opportunity to be a good citizen, which I don't even care what people say. I think is awesome. There are two highlightable things. What could they even possibly do? Just gonna have to find that out later, and I think I came to the wrong place for getting what I was coming to get. <coughs> but, maybe not. I have yet to, you know, I have still to check stuff. You know, there is jars of some strange medicine, which possibly is approved by the commission for not caring about unsafe medicine and being a thing that the plot of Scratches may or may not be based on. That's a very long name for a committee. Yeah. Okay, so now the blackjack can be one of three different items, none of which are an actual blackjack, and one of them is probable depending on the difficulty. You can get the ladle on some difficulty or other, but on expert I guess I'm going to have to get it somewhere else, which I don't remember which is which, but I guess that's okay because I'm surprisingly better at sneaking through this mission than I was the first couple of times I played it, which is rather a fortunate turn of events. Well, might not exactly be a turn of events, but it's something I would call fortunate. Ooh, Granny Smith, my absolute favorite freaking kind of apple, because sour is good. Oh yeah. But in exchange for me doing a kind deed for these people later on, I am going to, you know, take a very minuscule amount of their food that really isn't going to make a big difference either way. <laughs> I am incredibly bad. Well, I can remember one other place where a blackjack can be, although I don't remember the third. However, since I remember this one other, I guess I'll just hightail it there. I am a thief and I, I have a tail. It's like a evolutionary adaptation for balance in when I'm cat burgling, you know cat burgling. You know, what's what you do when you're a burglar. You sort of turn into a cat all Michael Jackson style and then you just burgle people and sell them encyclopedias. <laughs> oh man. For some reason I feel a bit refreshed. I recorded a very terrible, uh, very what was that stupid, noise? oh hey, cemetery. Yeah, well, uh, a Zelda 3 video the other day, but it was very ridiculous, and I decided not to put it up because 
even I was slightly annoyed by my antics, but uh, now everybody's going to want to hear it, I guess. It's a rubber or wood ducky, and now I can't put it down anywhere while being quiet, which I wish... I wish it had dark mod stylings of being able to put things down quietly, but uh, it looks like some wooden duck slaughter went on in here. I mean, oh, well, this will do for my sword, I guess. I'd completely forgotten, but isn't that amazing? Look at that model. It's like a partially carved wooden duck, and these wooden ducks are just the cutest thing! I, I guess I'll refrain from talking like a girl, but I mean, they're the cutest thing. They are. All my ducklings, our life is really splendid. I can do what I like most and even earn money with it. By now my ducklings are well known in the city and every child wants to have one. I'm always sad to say goodbye to one of my beloved ducklings, but the lady from the toy shop pays good money for them and one day I will be able to fulfill my greatest dream. I will buy a ship and carve a figurehead for it, a huge and beautiful duck, and the ship will be called the Flying Duck. Duckling. <laughs> then the people can talk as much as they want about me. Captain Sven will set, set sail, and I will only take my little daisy with me, my gorgeous favorite duck, the only duck I will never sell, no matter the price. Until then, I will continue to carve ducklings for the nice lady from the toy shop, and will let Daisy swim in the river every afternoon. The little one loves that. Of course I've told her about my great dream and she's already very excited. She's looking forward to setting sail with me and then we will teach all the rogues and pirates to fear us. Wow. She seemed like a nice old lady at first, but uh, by the end of that book I was I think she was acting a little bit unhinged. Or he. I don't know why I thought it was a she. I guess uh, that's Daisy. Possibly. Sven. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, whatever. He's got a voice like a grandma. Have you, any of y'all got a freaking problem with that? <laughs> y'all? My horrible presumptions about gender roles have quite failed me. Although one might question whether you would think that a stereotypical gender role would be that a granny would carve ducks. But, uh, so, I don't know. Uh... Well, yeah. Anyways, that wasn't the place that I could possibly get my blackjack at. That is some other thing, such as over here, I think, possibly. Uh, this mission actually looks extremely good. I mean, mid-2008, so it was in that one year of explosive FM output, of which, like, tons of them were extremely mind-blowing, including, uh, you know, Roxburgh 3 was 08, and... Seven Sisters was late 07, but the final update was 08, so I'm just randomly counting that. Uh, you know, I'm sure some others were, but... I need lockpicks to get in there. Well, I suppose I'll leave it off there for now. Uh, hello there, terrible frame rate. And, uh, you know, see you guys tomorrow for more piratey action. Ahoy, ahoy there, telephone operator. Bye for now.